This video is brought to you by Dr. Kristen R. Bromley's Guitar Method Book Series and Online Music Academy. Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Bromley. Welcome to my online academy. I am delighted to be here helping you with playing the guitar. In this quick answer episode, I am explaining the B add 9 chord. Now, if you're just wanting the voicing, they're over on the right side of the board. I usually start with a little theory before I get to those, so you can skip ahead in the video or just take a look at the right side of the board. So the B add 9 chord, first the chord symbol, we're going to see the letter B. That's the root, and then add nine, so the word add followed by a nine. If anything else is there, like B flat, for example, B flat add nine, or, or a minus sign, or if it just has B nine, it's a different type of chord. B nine is a dominant seventh chord with the ninth added, so that's different than B add nine. B add nine is a major chord with the ninth added. It's got the pitches B, D sharp, F sharp and C sharp. So these pitches come right out of the B major scale. The B is step one, the D sharp is step three, the F sharp is step five, and the C sharp is step two but in the higher octave. So I can play the scale in multiple octaves and if I continue up from that B up to C sharp, it's the same as step two but we're in a higher octave. So as we continue, we keep counting eight with the return of the root, nine with step two up an octave, and then ten with step three and so on. So step two up an octave. So intervolically speaking, and that's how our ear hears these different chords, the distance between the pitches, the B is the root note, that's the bass note that everything starts and is based on. D sharp is a major third above that B, that's why it's a major chord, and then F sharp is a perfect fifth above that root, and then the C sharp is a major ninth above that root. B, D sharp, F sharp, C sharp, so that's what that chord has. Now, if you ever run into a chord symbol like B2, there's a good chance that they're meaning B add 9. That could also mean sus2. That's why I don't use the two. Probably not meaning sus2. Um, if you need help with that, there's quick answer videos on sus chords, but the B, B2 might be, uh, somebody might use that chord symbol meaning B add 9. I usually avoid it because we're usually talking about the two being an octave higher, so it's, it's in the higher range by comparison to the root, so I use the ninth because of that, and also to to avoid confusion with sus2 chords. Okay, so the voicings. Now there's multiple ways to voice this. Here's a first position option, and you might choose this one. With this one, you gotta mute the third string. So, and I just, I actually just played C add nine. I was gonna say, if you're familiar with C add nine, it's B add nine is the same, only we are down by a fret. So our index finger goes on the first fret of the fourth string, that's our D sharp. Our middle finger goes on the second fret of the fifth string, and then we have to mute the third string, and then we have with our ring finger, so I'm muting the third string with my index finger, I just collapse it a little, and then my ring finger, we play the second fret on that second string, and then the pinky plays on the high string, second fret, we get B add 9. Now I will say with this particular voicing, the fifth is voiced as the highest note there, so instead of having it lower where I played the arpeggio. So that's a first position option. You might prefer the bar chord option, maybe, maybe not. The second, I'm going to start with the one that sits at the second fret, so off the fifth string, and so we bar the top five strings there at the second fret, and then the middle finger goes two frets higher on the fourth string, Ring finger goes two frets higher on the second or on the second string, yeah. So at the fourth fret, and pinky goes four frets higher on the third string. So it is a little bit of a stretch, but it's a really nice sounding voice. So it's B add nine, and I am muting the sixth string with my index. I'm pushing up against it so I don't inadvertently play a pitch that doesn't belong in the chord if I strum that one. So that takes quite a reach. That's why this B add nine is offered. We also have a bar chord at the sixth 
on the, with the root on the 6th string, and this is barred at the 7th fret because we have a B at the 7th fret of the 6th string. And then the easy way to find it is if you know how to play B7 there, you can just reach your pinky two frets higher than, than, uh, than where your ring finger is located, four frets higher than the bar. But I'll go through it. So we bar all six strings at the seventh fret. Middle finger goes two frets higher on the third, or one fret higher on the third string, sorry. Ring finger goes two frets higher on the fifth string. And pinky goes four frets higher on the fourth string. So, just like so, it's a pretty sounding chord to reach. These add nine voicings as bar chords are a stretch, but they sound so great. Okay, hope that helps with B add nine. Hope you're having fun with guitar. We'll catch you again. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. For more in-depth lessons and to progress through a free guitar course, check out my Guitar 101 series on YouTube and my Guitar Method books, which all come with access to hours of in-depth video lessons. You can find more information about me and my products at kristenbromley.com. Take care.